An American delegation of security officials made a stealthy visit to Africa last week. The emissaries visited Somalia, Kenya, and Djibouti in East Africa, and Niger in West Africa. The officials included the assistant to President Joe Biden for Homeland Security, Liz Sherwood Randall, the commander of the U.S. forces in Africa, General Stephen Townsend, and the assistant secretary of defense for special operations, Chris Meyer. The visits focused on the Biden administration's strategy for fighting terrorism. A statement was released on Saturday providing details of the delegation's accomplishments. The meetings were not just about security, but also touched on good governance and development. In East Africa, Dr. Sherwood Randall, General Townsend, and Mr. Meyer met with U.S. forces in Djibouti, Somalia, and Kenya, who are responsible for executing the counterterrorism campaign against Al-Shabaab in conjunction with local and regional partners. They also met with U.S. Embassy officials. Throughout their visit, they discussed the adaptation of our counterterrorism enterprise in the region to bolster the detection of emerging threats and enhance coordination with local partners and the African Union mission in Somalia, Amazon. In Djibouti, the delegation also met with special operations forces responsible for U.S. crisis response capabilities on the African continent. In Niger, they visited two American Air Force bases. They also met with Nigerian President Mohamed Bazoum. Bazoum was sworn in as leader in April of this year after a failed military coup. Washington maintains a strong security relationship with France and West Africa. Every stop featured meetings with locally based U.S. troops. In each country they visited, the delegation had the opportunity to recognize the outstanding contributions of AFRICOM military personnel. President Biden's strategy for engaging Africa has not been very clear in his first nine months in office. In Somalia, the Americans recently resumed airstrikes against the Al-Shabaab. And they have encouraged Mogadishu to move elections forward. ADN-TV will continue to report on American policy regarding Somalia and all of Africa.